Hello there, today we'll be doing wildfire. Uh, you are given a two-dimensional integer matrix representing a force where a cell is 0 if it's empty, 1 if it's a tree, and if 2 if it's a tree on fire. Every day a tree catches fire. If there is an adjacent tile, top, down, left, and right tree that's also on fire, remember the number of days it would take for every tree to be on fire. If it's not possible, return negative 1. So the plan is, um, we're going to use BFS to do this problem. Uh, we're going to create a queue with every uh, point in the matrix where there's a fire going on. And for every single day, we're going to spread that fire and collect all the new points um, that are going to be on fire and check um, the next points uh, where there where where it might catch fire, and try to set fire to those places. Every time we uh, go through a BFS call uh, to do the queue, we will increase the count by one. If we cannot increase the count, um, then we can no longer spread the fire, and we check if there are any ones in our matrix. If there are ones, then uh, return it's not possible. If um, there are no ones, then uh, we return the count. Um, and that's all for this particular problem. Um, well, without further ado, let's uh, start coding. First thing I want to do is get the rows um, and the, the columns to make sure that I can um, bound my problem to the in matrix. Um, one problem with this is the matrix at zero, point zero. If there is no matrix, um, then um, that would create an out of bounds error. So I will have to first return zero if if there are there's nothing in the matrix. Okay. So now we're gonna set up a queue uh, and we're gonna populate this queue with all the items in the range. Uh, rows and columns um, of the matrix and uh, make sure that uh, the matrix if it's uh, a 2 um, we're gonna we're gonna say store that point um, that coordinate into our queue as a pair uh, IJ pair uh, XY pair so um, while queue um, we're gonna set up a temp just to create a brand new, just like you know, create a BFS call. So for uh, I and J, this is our um, tuple in the queue. Um, we're gonna get up, down, left, and right, uh, so that we can, um, you know, iterate through the four directions. Let's create the directions. Uh, let's say so up is going to be j plus one. Uh, down is going to be j minus one. Uh, left is going to be i minus one. And right is going to be i plus 1. All right, great. Um, so that should be that should do it. If uh, the directions of uh, direction of 0, which is x is less than 0, or uh, direction of y um, is less than 0, um, we should break. If it's also, if it's greater, then the um, uh, the rows minus one or um, direction of i is uh, greater than the columns minus one. Then we should um, also um, continue. That means we should try the next item. Otherwise, um, check the matrix uh, direction of zero, which is the x coordinate and the y coordinate. If it's equal, equal to 1, let's spread that fire. 
Um, so equals two. And let's add that to the temp. You know, INJ would be so much easier for this, I think. Yeah. Huh. Maybe maybe we can. Okay, now it's very similar to code to our previous item where we got tuples and everything. Hopefully this works out for us. And um, once we have completed our loop, let's check if uh, if the temp, if there's nothing in temp, that means we hit break and we're done. Otherwise, we increase the count and uh, reset the queue to the temp so that we have more to burn. Once that is done, uh, we can check if uh, for each row in the matrix, um, if uh, there is a 1 in the row, then uh, we can return negative 1. Otherwise, we can return the count. Uh, let's run it. Uh, we have a problem. Um, this is line 22. Uh, this is matrix. Ah, this is else if. Run. Oh, another error. Unbounded. Count was created before, so we did not create the counts for some reason. Okay, try again. And it was accepted. Submit. Perfect. Uh, great. We have solved the problem, as you can see. Um, I think this is a pretty clean answer. Um, and uh, it solves the problem as actually as I have said. Uh, we have uh, first found um, all the all burning trees, and um, we did while fire is spreading. Um, burn adjacent tiles um, and uh, we ran the BFS um, burn adjacent tiles increment on increment on BFS tiles to burn and that's it and uh, then lastly we checked um, if trees exist in matrix and uh, and that's how we solved the problem uh, well if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe if you have any questions please comment below if you want more videos check out the link in the descri description below um, hopefully this helps you guys I'll see you guys in the next one